Oh, we don't have any camera down. Welcome to BP Visits and this time we're visiting this place here, Breeden, in North Allerton, a concrete plant. So I was just walking around this industrial estate and I've just I've just seen this. So I'm here with Joe Bloggs as well and uh, we're just, uh, just doing a video on this one and what can we see? So intrigued on this one because it doesn't really, it isn't really shown on Google Earth but it also hasn't got any, no access. So there's no signage on here saying you're not allowed in. But when you get in the gate, it does say minimum to be worn. So if we look here, so, okay, there is a, so there is a no entry on there. So there is a no entry on that, so we won't go past the gate here. You can see that, so we don't want to go in. But, let's have a look on there. So if we look at this sign here, so this tell you what we've got here. So we've got a plant, office, some parking, visitor parking. There is a pedestrian walkway, uh, but we've got minimum PPE, PPE to be worn at all times. So obviously we don't want to go in because of that. So what we're looking at here. So we've got uh, sand, we've got stones, etc. So yeah, I mean, what we're going to do here is actually make concrete. What's, why do they have a big tower like that though? What's, what's in that tower, guys? Tell me what, uh, what would be happening on the tower there. There's a loader, is that a loader over there? Yep, so we've got a loader. So he's gonna load all that stuff into that chute. He's then gonna be conveyed up to the top there. And so they've got, um, got security here, look, so. Fourth Security Solutions Limited, I've not heard of them. But they're the security for this plant. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll get better video when we get the drone up. Any good? Yeah, we've got a truck there um, making the concrete. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, overlook, I'll go with the drone. All right, let's get the drone out and uh, see what we can see. Let's go fly a drone. Okay, so you see they're on uh, drone assist. Yeah, that there's no flight restrictions in this area, but there is a load of stupid seagulls again because there is some food places around here. So I've just got to watch out for them birds. Okay, so let's go see what we can see. Yeah, it is a bit windy. Stable, rolling. Let's have a look, so we'll uh, go back a bit to where we actually, to where we uh, look through. So this is the, the main gate here. So that's where we was actually looking. It's a bit of a daft question, isn't it? It's a daft question, surely. That far leg? Oh, just me on, me on use, really. Hey? Just me on use, just interested. You know, the flyover people's probably like that. What do you think? No. Really? Hey? Do you think no? No. Why do you think no? It's private. Is it? Property's no. probably not on the property though, probably. Am I? What makes you think it's you're not allowed to do it? I'm up around. Just asking the question. Yeah? I well, you, yeah, but you come back, you said no, and you, no, you'll give an answer of no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, would you like somebody flying it over your house? It's, oh, do you live here? Hey? Do you live here? Well, I own that shop. You don't live here though, do you? It's totally different, isn't it? It's, it's commercial, isn't it? Well, you don't live here. You're the one coming out putting laws and rules on me. I'm not putting any rules on. I'm just asking the question. What you you said it's not allowed to fly, didn't you? But you have... said, is it? I just asked the question. And I said, what do you? I said, what do you think? And you said no. <laughs> Up your ass, mate! Jesus Christ! Oh, you're not here. Put your fucking camera down. No, no, no. Don't come out here trying to impose rules on me and think you're big almighty when you're not. Won't fucking do Unbelievable. So what is this? Splash bathrooms, guys. This is splash bathrooms we're looking at here. Ask the question, why are you flying No, you did not. You said it's not allowed over private property. You were trying to tell me the law and you don't know. I said, is it not allowed? And I said, what do you think? You said no. You've got a mask on. Because I don't want to be on his video and he don't want to be on my video. Exactly what? Just sort your life out, mate. 
with an attitude, need to sort your life out with an attitude like that. It's not good for your business, is it? What, some dickhead on a YouTube? Dickhead, really? Yeah. That's another comment. Have I called you anything? Unbelievable. Why? What would happen if I didn't? I'm not even doing your company, Jesus Christ. Right guys, back on the video. Uh, Jesus, I don't know what was his problem. I'm not even doing his business. I'm, I'm actually flying over Reed in the concrete place and he's come out calling me all sorts of names and uh, telling me I can't fly over private property. When he has absolutely no idea what you can and can't do. Right, anyway, back to breeding. So, we saw down here, we can see this from the gate. So there's all the, I think they're different uh, levels of sand, are they? Again, people say to me, um, I do industrial sets and I don't seem to know anything. You're absolutely right, I don't know anything. And that's what I do because I'm very interested in what I do and I like to see it. And yeah, I might talk a lot of rubbish, but hey guys, you can comment and put me right, can't you? So that's what I have you guys for. Right, so I think I'm right here when I say that was a loader and he would load into that chute there and then all of the sand or whatever he's loaded in would then go up into this place here, which then does something with it. And then we've got another conveyor belt and it would then go up into this tower for some reason. Any idea what I've seen there guys? If you have, drop us a comment. But looking underneath here, this looks like it's a loading. So I would guess you put your vehicle under there and you can get loaded up. Now we just missed the concrete wagon. Oh no, there's still there, it's that one, yeah. So I don't, I think he's just parked up so he's not actually loading because he doesn't seem to be doing anything, does he? It's only a small yard, but Obviously, they've got a good little business. I mean, Breeden, I've heard of them before. I think they're quite a big, a big name in the concrete industry. But uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll get up and we'll do a 360 from over here. Let's get the drone back and take a picture of the whole company in one shot. Okay, let's uh, get the drone back, but first of all, check this out. So this is Splash Bathrooms, and this is where the uh, guy came out and gave us a lot of grief. So yeah, be very careful if you're buying stuff from these guys. For some reason, you interfered in what I'm doing, and I am stood on a public footpath away from uh, the breeding. I'm not stood down there, obviously, uh, concrete driveway that you can see there. So let's get the drone back and finish this one up. So there we go, so that was Breeden's uh, North Alton Concrete Plants and uh, yep, yeah, nice little place that, nice little business. Uh, see pretty quiet around there at the moment. There's a lot of birds flying over, just like uh, when I was in at Carnaby Industrial Estate. So I think because there's food places around here so you're going to attract the birds. But this guy from Splash Bathrooms suddenly came out, started giving it the big Big I am. Started trying to tell BP what he can and can't do. Sorry, mate, not a chance. So, yeah, splash bathrooms. Uh, I wouldn't use them because the customer service isn't going to be that good if that's the way he talks to members of the public. Stood on a public footpath, mind his own business. Anyway, let's uh, give uh, Breeden's a score and uh, let's move on. Mm -hmm. 